Daily Dose of Daryl from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, Season 2, Episode 23, March 6th through 12th, 2023. Everyday Reminders. Every day, we all need some reminders. It's important to take the garbage out. In life, garbage builds up. Whether you live by yourself or with a bunch of people, someone has to take out the garbage. The city is helpful in providing containers and trucks and people to facilitate this. God gives us help too in our lives. In Hebrews 12:1, it says, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And so it is, God will help us help get rid of these things in our lives that slows us down. In 2 Corinthians 7, 1, it says, Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear and respect of God. The city's vessels are designed so they can come along and help pick this up and to put it onto the truck. God is ready to help us and has designed us to be able to receive his help. Ephesians 4.22, everything, and I do mean everything, connected with that old way of life has to go. It's rotten through and through. Get rid of it. And so the longer we keep things in our lives that are like garbage, they do tend to rot and become filthy. And so we need to uh, pay attention to 2 Timothy 2.21. Whoever cleanses himself from what is ignoble and unclean, who separates himself from contact with contaminating and corrupting influences, will then himself be a vessel set apart and useful for honorable and noble purposes, consecrated and profitable to the master, fit and ready for any good work. And so it is. Our goal in life should be get ready to be useful for the master and be ready for any good work. But first, we must get the garbage out. So take your time today and focus on these scriptures and allow God to help you cleanse out your life. Be sure to enroll in God's recycling program. Today, we're going to look at another barrel, very similar to the garbage barrel we talked about, but this is for recycling. It's the recycling program here in Graham. Most communities have it. It's a different colored barrel, but it's equipped very similar to achieve its purpose. Its purpose can be found in Jeremiah 18 verses 1 through 6. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it seemed best to him. Can I not do this with you as the potter does, like the hand of the potter, so you are in my hands? And so it is, as we look at ourselves many times, we think we are ready for the garbage heap. And yet God wants to recycle us and change us and shape us. And then too, sometimes we look at other people and think they are garbage and they need to be tossed away. But this reminds us that just like the clay, a new purpose was found for that lump of clay and a new purpose can be found for each of us. So as we stand before the mirror or we stand looking at other people, we see there are two choices. We can choose to toss ourselves into the garbage can, into the garbage barrel, the garbage heap, or we can choose to toss others there, or we can listen to the scripture today where God says, I can reshape you and form you with a new purpose. You can be a part of my purpose. So let's choose the blue barrel for our lives and for others today and truly allow God's recycling program to take effect in our own lives and in others. God bless you. Take advantage of the best CPI system for life. In today's world, we have many systems. Some of them are called security systems. And people have property that they want protected. And so they call upon these companies. One of the companies is called CPI. However, today I want us to realize we have a CPI system for life. And that means call providential intervention. 
God is ready. In Psalm 145, 18, it says, The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. That's an important clarifier. And also, it says, Seek, ask, and knock. Seek, you'll find. Ask, it'll be given unto you. Knock, it'll be opened up to you. And in Romans 8, 28, it says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose, basically surrendered our will to His. His providential care is there. The word seek means to look, to ask, to knock. Providence means the protective care of God, spiritual power. And intervention means action taken to improve a situation. In the scriptures, it says again in Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Indeed, he intervened into the entire world situation that we might be saved. And so I encourage you as you Think about CPI, call providential intervention in your life and let God meet your needs and change your world today. The critical part of life is where the rubber meets the road. As you look around you every day, you see lots of things. Many times you don't even look at the tires on a car. Perhaps unless you're buying a car or need a replacement, and then you look very carefully at all the details and all the dimensions. You look at the tread and things like that, and you think a lot about tires. But most of the time, we get in the car or the vehicle, and we just go along. Sometimes on the interstate, some people get up to 65 miles an hour, the speed limit. Or I've seen others that go by doing about 20 miles an hour faster than that. Anyway... Uh, It is important, though, if you think about this, because it's really where the rubber meets the road that is so important. There's just a little section of the tire, four little places that keeps you in line, keeps you under control. And uh, in the scriptures, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And it's where the rubber meets the road that the trials come and every little bump that's down there, we begin to uh, have to absorb that. In James 1.22 it says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Somebody said once, You only believe as much of the Bible as you put into practice. And so, putting into practice our faith is where the rubber meets the road. James 1, 26. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. We know none of us want to uh, consider our religion worthless. So may we put our faith to the test and go forward with vigor. Realize our life is a picture worth more than a thousand words. I usually talking all the time. When I was in the other countries on the world tour, I realized perhaps I needed to be a mime more than anything else because they didn't understand English sometimes and I didn't understand their language. So occasionally I would draw a picture, having a background in art helped, and they got it. I got really good at charades. And then I realized that... Uh, Christ used word pictures all the time, the scattering of the seeds, a camel through the eye of a needle. I am the clay and, and he is the potter. And so it goes. In Proverbs 3, uh, verses 13 through 14, it's pretty significant. And Colossians 2, 9 through 15 also. Now, I want you to realize that the trees and the bushes stand there year after year, decade after decade, um, century after century oftentimes. And they don't say anything, but they are simply doing things. If you watch them, they take the 
air and they purify it and they take that um, uh, air and bring that uh, oxygen out of it so we could uh, breathe better and they bring in that carbon uh, dioxide so they could breathe better and going through that process uh, we learned that they never utter a word they they sprout green leaves and many of them change colors and they fall away and go through the cycle of life others remain green year-round the evergreens and so each one is telling a picture many times they're growing larger uh, oftentimes they have to be pruned but if you just stay uh, still and watch the leaves and the trees and the bushes there's a lesson there for us every day listen to the scripture as you read it out loud to yourself and may god bless you Saturday Summary It's important to take the garbage out. Be sure to enroll in God's recycling program. Take advantage of the best CPI system for life. The critical part of life is where the rubber meets the road. Our life is really a picture worth more than a thousand words. These everyday reminders are good for each of us. What parts of my life need to be tossed in the garbage can? And what steps have I made towards that cleansing process? What parts of my life are worth salvaging? And how have I started turning those over to God's recycling program? In what ways have I called upon God's providence to intervene in my life? And what progress can I observe taking place? Aside from my stated beliefs, goals, and plans, What have I done to put them into action? What are some ways my life is painting a picture of truth and faith day after day in a consistent manner? This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive each day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, both positive, personal, and professional. Remember, there are three divisions, digital, real life, and print. But in the digital, we have not only the YouTube channel, but the website, Zoom events, and much more. In the real life, we do pulpit supply, funerals, weddings, magic shows, keynote speakers, and more. And in the print division, not only books, but magazine articles, newspapers, and custom artwork. Locally ordered books, for me, can get signatures and special discount. This one is already out and about, helping others. Churches and pastors have special discounts. I appreciate you, your ideas and support. Keep them coming. These are other areas that I might be able to help you, and these are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I am using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way, endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.